What's good YouTube? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, I need you to like, comment, share, subscribe. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. So I wanted to get into this one, guys, <clears throat> and I am going to be speaking on why do people or why are people hyping Lizzo for embracing the Tatiana slur movement, embracing the 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 idolization of these women, you know, basically slurring themselves out for attention. Why are people embracing Lizzo for this? and um how this can affect the dating market so first of all <sighs> lizzo is acting a fool okay she's acting crazy um doing the most and this is oftentimes what plus size girls will do because they feel insecure inside and they feel like they're not hot stuff obviously i've done videos on my other channel about how lizzo has been having breakdowns mental breakdowns about her weight loss journey right um and at this point she might have just said f it and you know she's going to embrace her size which um i don't think is healthy okay i believe that it is more productive that she works on losing that weight um even if it takes her a long amount of time because that is what is going to benefit her in the long run you know we talk about this um this uh situation that's going on with the sickness and people getting the procedure and this and the third and the the most vulnerable people to this sickness are the lizzo's of the war the world the the people with comorbidities and um the people who have pre-existing conditions okay so <clears throat> When it comes to a Lizzo, people are hyping her up because she is willing to bear it all and show parts of her body that nobody wanted to see, okay? Um, and the reason why they're hyping her up is to also fill and boost the heads of women and boost the heads of other plus size young ladies to make them feel better about themselves, even if they are truly living an unhealthy lifestyle okay so when it comes to the um the projection of these plus size models into media now we see different companies taking on these plus size models and uh, you know companies that have shaped the um the the idea of beauty for decades are now embracing the idea of beauty and plus size women and i'm not going to sit here and say all plus size women are not beautiful okay but i am going to say that there is <laughs> there is a pushing of the limits that is happening okay just i mean i've seen magazine covers with just sloppily plus size women and they have been pushed to the highest of esteem okay um and the reason why that is is because they want to normalize men dealing with plus size women i'll say it again they want to normalize men dealing with plus size women as if that wasn't something that is already occurring okay so they are trying to diminish a man's standard while raising the woman's standard so we know that women have a multitude of standards that they will not succumb or um under okay they will not they will not settle if you will for someone who doesn't meet their standards. But when it comes to men, we are more likely to um, deal with or involve ourselves with a woman who doesn't quite meet our standards. Um, and this is getting worse and worse throughout progression. You guys don't know how many times I see, especially with brothers, especially with brothers, I see us always dealing with women who are out of shape. It doesn't matter if she's white or black, okay? 
or Asian, it doesn't matter the race. We oftentimes are willing to accept overweight women um, because we don't, for one, we don't think we deserve better, okay? Uh, a lot of us are in a situation where our money isn't right, so we don't think that we can acquire a woman who is in shape and well-to-do and got her thing going on, so we settle. And that is the reason why they're pushing these larger women on to us now, because <clears throat> quite frankly, they want the men who are able to get beautiful women to start settling too, okay? And this is... This is a page out of the feminist agenda, and this is what they are pushing now. Everything that a woman does is beautiful. Nothing is wrong about her, even if she's overweight, even if she's rude, even if she, you know, quite frankly, is a B word, right? Even if she's a little slutty, you know, everything that she does is right. She can do no wrong, all right? And, you know, I just want my guys over here who are watching my videos and listening to the sound of my voice to you know raise the bar for yourself man we got to stop accepting these things the reason why these women think it's okay is because men keep sliding in the dms men keep you know commenting on the pictures men keep uh smashing these women and that is why they feel so emboldened so empowered um to basically get buck naked um, <laughs> in any type of setting, you know, I'll go, it doesn't matter where I am, you know, you are liable to see a overweight woman twerking in a public setting. You guys remember that, um, situation with the restaurant in Texas where the women were twerking and the manager told them that, Hey, this ain't Chippendales. You need to get up on out of here with that type of mentality, with those type of actions. And they didn't like it because they had never been told that they have done wrong or are doing wrong. So guys, I will say this over and over again, man, you know, whatever, Lizzo is talented, okay? I'm not gonna say she's not talented, but the way that she is showing off her body and sexualizing her own self, right? They talk about men sexualizing women. That is not the case. Women sexualize themselves and men respond to the sexualization of themselves. See, Lizzo in these photos is bent over spreading her behind. But then she will tell others who she's not attracted to not to objectify her and not to think that she is a slur and not to think that she is any type of way. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? It is because women want men to lower their standards and deal with women who have a checkered past and who don't have it all the way together when it comes to their body, who have, you know, mental and internal problems that ne they need to resolve outside of a relationship before they get into one. So um, I think that's pretty much it. I've covered all of the bases. Guys, be careful. Do not be dealing with these plus size women. I implore you, you know, go out there, work on yourself and deal with the women that you deserve, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Reclaim Your Throne. Till next time. Raspa Beats. Beats.